That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? About the, the little the little three year old girl that's blind and how her eyes scare her siblings because she's not old enough to vocal to to vocalize what's wrong with her eyes. So when people see her, her eyes is shifting around and they moving and they look off. You know what I mean? So that that was my situation growing up. You know, with my family and stuff. That's how my family I always knew that, uh, you know, uh, Montreal, something, you know, something is different about his eyes, you know what I mean? It's not just, it's, it's worse than glasses, you know what I mean? Because of how my eyes look. So, I used to actually scare my little cousins, you know, my little cousins and, and my little nieces and nephews, they would be scared from my eye, uh, they would be scared to look at me because my eyes would be looking off, trying to search for them, trying to see how they look and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Um, so that used to scare them, you know, that, and that's another reason why I'm really not comfortable around kids because of that. I don't want to, I don't want to put off, I'm more comfortable with it now and, you know, my eyes is, is, uh, is covered a lot of the times and stuff, but that's, that's one main reason why I don't interact with children is because my eyes throw them off and it's hard to explain to a child what's wrong with my eyes because to them I can see but something is wrong with my eyes you know they're like because yeah, you, you know you look like you can see or whatever but um so my cousin Nia she was about three years old actually about three or four years old and she asked me she say cuz she say um she say why your eyes look like that you know what I mean and as soon as she asked me that her mom, which is my auntie, she got offended, you know, she, not necessarily offended, but she kind of didn't know how I was going to take it, so she kind of hushed her up, like, don't ask them nothing like that, you know what I mean, but it's, it's, it's not, you know, people take it as disrespect, but it's not disrespect, it's curiosity, and the parent, you know, a parent would look at it as, you know, mind your business, you being disrespectful, but she was just curious, you know what I mean, and then... At that time, I wasn't comfortable with my vision. I was still living in denial, you know, acting like I can see, which I know I can't see. Sheen's all messed up. I ain't got bruises all on my sheen's, you know what I mean? But still in the sighted world. But um, so this wasn't the first time she asked me this. So the last time she asked me when she was that age, you know, cuz, you know, why your eyes look like that? And it was just me and her and Mir Mir. And the last time she asked me, she was about like six, and Mir Mir was about three or four, you know? So Mir Mir was understanding of the situation. Yeah, cuz, why your eyes do what they do, you know what I mean? And I, the only thing, because they were still so young, the only thing I could tell them is, I have to explain it to you when you're, un when you're able to understand, because right now if I tell you, you, you won't understand. I told them, just know that your big cousin, he can't see like you. You know, I can't see as good as you would. Don't glasses don't work for me. That's all I can tell them is glasses don't work for me.